Index laws, example two. This, this example basically is talking about when you're dividing or when you divide things that you subtract the powers. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at today. And just a quick reminder, we're really not going to use step one or step four. That's more when you get into index laws three and four, and we're going to follow the order of it. Now, because it's about division, we're going to divide coefficients, and we're also going to subtract powers for this one. All right, so we'll start with example two, question A, which is our more basic one. We start by looking at the coefficients. 18 divided 3 is 6. Now we're going to do, now we're going to subtract our powers. So we've got a base of B for both of them, same base. 5 minus 2 is 3. And that one is now simplified as much as possible. We'll now move on to question B, which is a fraction. And that might throw some people. But fractions work the same as division. This is the same as saying 24 divided 6. 24 divided 6 is 4. Remembering that the C and the D both have a power of 1. So let's look at the C first. C to the power of 3 divided by C to the power of 1 is C to the power of 2, since 3 minus 1 is 2. So C squared. And D to the power of 2 divide D to the power of 1 would be D to the power of 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Remembering that when we write our solution, we never put a power of 1 down. Okay, question C is our challenging question, and this is where this part in the brackets comes into play, which says sometimes instead of dividing, we simplify coefficients. All right, the reason it comes into play is when you try and divide it, 12 divide 8, you get 1.5, you get a decimal, and we really don't like people to have decimals. So when this happens, the very first thing you're going to do is write it as a fraction instead of as division. So we're going to go 12 f squared g, and we'll put a little 1 there, g to the power of 1, over 8 f squared g to the power of 4. And what this does is enables us to simplify instead of divide, because 12 over 8 can be simplified. I'll, I'll actually do it up here. 12 over 8, you can halve it. Half of 12 is 6, and half of 8 is 4. And you can halve it again. Half of 6 is 3, and half of 4 is 2. So 12 over 8, when simplified, is 3 over 2. All right. Now we're going to look at our pronumerals. Now, if we do f to the power of 2 divide f to the power of 2, that's quite an interesting one because what actually happens when I do 2 minus 2 I get a power of 0 remembering that f to the power of 0 equals 1 now I'm just going to give you a really good shortcut whenever you get um, the same pronumeral with the same power you actually can just cancel it completely all right so we'll just focus on the G g to the power of 1 and g to the power of 4. Now, some of you might notice that if I do 4 minus 1, I'll get 3. The problem being that the one with the greater power is at the bottom or in the denominator. This one is still g to the power of 3, but because it had a larger number for the denominator, it needs to stay where the denominator was. It needs to be 3 over 2 g to the power of 3 all down in the denominator.